Welcome back DIY guys and DIY girls. I can't say DIY car guys and car girls because I'm playing around with these speakers right now. I'll eventually get back to the S10, but this is car speakers. I had these 6.5 inch scars. The original thought with this was to put it into the S10 and make it somewhat of a sound system so I at least listen to jams in the S10. And then it kind of went to a different way with the S10 and never happened, so I had these 6.5 inch scars, and I have a very, very old Pioneer subwoofer. I was thinking, what can I do with these speakers? I just collect in dust. So I said, let's repurpose these into home audio speakers. Now this is the kind of the finished one right here. I got one right here and one right there. It looks good right there. You might think that you just kind of take these speakers, throw them in a box and they work. That's kind of what I did with this, but I did do research. The subwoofer on the other hand, I did a lot of research and I have, specs for these guys but the ts parameters for this because this usually goes in a car door and they don't give you ts parameters ts parameters is what you can plug into a simulation and it'll tell you what frequencies will hit but like i said these guys right here didn't really have that and there's a certain space that they had to fit which is on this desk right here you can see it has to go back into this little section underneath this. That was kind of my requirements. Now your typical car door is anywhere from like, you know, one and a half to two cubic feet. That's a lot. So these are gonna be an infinite baffle speaker. Wasn't sure how they're gonna sound. And I do have the specs for this box. I have a link in there in Subbox that Pro. You can look them up, wanna make your own. It's a sealed enclosure. They might sound better uh, being ported. Like I said, I didn't have any of those test parameters to test them out. So I went with the safe route with a sealed enclosure and they actually sound way better than I could possibly thought they would sound. These guys will actually hit <clears throat> 30 hertz. Now on this test, I had it up really loud. Come on and see what frequencies sound the best with this guy. But you have to use headphones for this. I used two mics, really good mics, on two cameras, simulate stereo, and I put them in the same spot where I usually sit to listen to music in the living room because I don't have the amps for this to work on the computer right now. So I'm gonna have to wait for that to come in and I'll do a full video on all this. So if you wanna learn how to make your leftover speakers, if you have stuff that's collecting dust to make an ultimate gaming rig sound system, you can do it for pretty darn cheap. $50 speakers plus the wood was about another $20. Paint 15, you know, it's, it's really that mu not that much money. If you uh, know what you're doing, do it right. So let's get to this test. Remember, really good headphones. You'll see these things are not bad for being $50 car door speakers. Check it out. Thumbs a clap. Keep in mind, the subwoofer is off. Okay, so what we got going on here, we got two cameras and basically these are mono mics, but they're pretty good. So it's kind of simulate stereo. I mix them both together in post. The audio on this one, the audio on this one, these are actually identical cameras, identical mics, so they should sound pretty good. It's just to simulate stereo, because this is usually where I sit when I watch TV. We're just gonna test on these guys right here. I got this one recording the woofer just to see it flex. I got the volume at pretty much the volume where the wife says, could you please turn it down? So we're gonna do a frequency test. This is by this gentleman right here. He's pretty awesome. He's got a lot of views on this. That skyline right there. So let's go ahead and we'll see what they pick up. I'll get out your way. We know it's not gonna do five. <laughs> Hold it, hold it. 
so we'll stop it there. We know it's going to play everything else above that. Good. Grand. Not too bad. Can't complain. Okay, so before I leave you guys, I want you guys to check this out. This is pretty cool. Um, let me explain to you how I did the test. First, you need a camera that will allow for manual audio gain. You can't have anything that has auto gain because it'll screw up this test. Because as the volume gets lower, it'll try to compensate and it'll dim the volume. So what I did, I turned up the um, speakers themselves as loud as they would go to where it wasn't clipping on the mic. And that's when I hit record. So what's interesting, this is what came out from that clip. This is the sound file. And if you look, of course, it was going in 10 hertz increments, so it kind of doing a step deal. But from right here, this is 30, and you can see right around 30 is when the volume gets louder. So you can kind of get an idea of kind of what um, frequency it has the most dB. Now, you're not going to get exact dB, but you can get a good idea by just doing this frequency test and seeing what volumes it plays louder. And you can see kind of a trend here. So you start over here at 30, not too loud. 40, you can definitely see a, a increase in volume from 40. And then when it hit 50, it must be like a resonant frequency of 50 with this guy in that box, because it is definitely, it's almost as loud. Actually, I think it's a little louder. Let me see here. That's about the same, about the same loudness as 90 hertz right here. See that? And then it kind of has a 90, then it goes down again, 100 gets lower, 110, 120, and then you know, I kind of just uh, didn't go after that. So it's kind of cool. Now, if anybody wants this sound file just to look at it and listen to, just the file itself, let me know and I'll uh, send it to you. And maybe you want to analyze it with uh, some of your pro audio stuff, but I thought this was a cool little test. So as long as you have a camera that will do, and a good mic, you need a really, you need a good mic too. You can't have this a piece of crap mic. You need a good mic that's all frequencies. Check the range on it. And you need a recording device that will not do auto gain. And you have to set it up, play the speaker as loud as you can before it starts to distort. Turn it back, then get it so it's not peaking on your levels and go ahead and record it. And it gives you a pretty good audio test just by doing those um, hertz. Anyways, guys, hope you liked it and peace out.